Hello? Hey, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just calling you, man, because, well, I'm not sure if you've seen our sales in the past couple weeks to, well, even the past couple months now. They've dropped drastically. Our sales are struggling, and I'm stressed. I don't know what to do. I'm losing sleep over this, dude. I don't know. I don't know, man. I. Okay. All right. Hey man, how are you? Good, good. Uh, I'm calling you because I saw your post on Instagram and uh, I need some help. My business is um, struggling a little bit and I need to find some new techniques to keep it alive. You think you could help me out with that? Okay, is there a charge? It's free, the first consultation. Okay. All right, well, I'll be, I'll be there. Thanks. Oh, hey, look who made it. Did you have any trouble finding it? I bet you're here because you need some help and your business needs some help. Well, you came to the perfect place, I can tell you that much. I have everything you and your business is ever gonna need. And we're going to keep that thing running, I promise you that. Um, the only thing that, only disclaimer is, well, in the phone call, you thought that this was free. It's not free. It's $129 for the first 30 minutes. And then the second 30 minutes is another $100 flat on top. Now, well, you're already here, so you can't really just leave. You know, the time already started when you sat down so you have to pay the 30 minute minimum and uh yeah all right let's get started so first i'm going to show you some of the benefits that social media can have and can directly have on your business i'm going to teach you which specific social media platforms are the best in my opinion my personal opinion and in the end, I'm gonna show one of my Instagram accounts and showing you what results you can expect. Okay, so the first big plus that social media has on businesses is probably you have the ability to really connect with your customers and your audience. Now, what this means is it's giving you the opportunity to put your business here and your face here. People are gonna feel a lot more at ease and they're gonna not really question too much if they have a personal relationship with you when they decide to make a purchase they're gonna feel a lot more comfortable giving their business to you talks a little bit about brand awareness brand awareness is like letting the customer remember your business and your trademark when you advertise customers are likely to or potential customers are likely to either A, purchase, B, keep scrolling, or C, read your advertisement, engrave your business into their head, and then scroll. You have a two out of three chance to make an impression on that person. Another good thing social media can help you do is it gives you like an opportunity to find your target audience. The target audience is very important. A target audience is a specific group of individuals and it may be based on age, could be based on their interests, but what it is is a group of people that 
are highly likely to need your service. Say you are a babysitter and you probably are going to look for people in the age of whatever, maybe 21, 22 to, I don't know, 40. And then that's a start. And then you're going to look for moms, obviously, right? And there you go. You start to build your target audience and you start to build a tactic. And, you know, it's not so much the message that you put out on social media. It's more of who is hearing your message. You got to be very careful about it because you could put something out there that is really good. And if it's not for the right person, it's going to be rejected. Um, And it could take some time to find your target audience. It usually does. Now, for your type of business, you run a clothing business, right? Okay, yeah. So, the specific platform that I would choose, if I were you, I would invest all your time into Instagram. Let me tell you why. Remember how we talked about target audience a little bit earlier? Well, think about it this way. Your hypothetical target audience, I don't know what it is, but I have a really good idea and I have a really good feeling that it's going to be found on Instagram because of Instagram's popularity with the youth and clothing brands tend to thrive off the youth. Now come a little bit closer and I'll show you some of the results you could see. Hi, so uh, this is one of my Instagram businesses, and on this I specialize in promoting upcoming artists and upcoming rappers slash singers. It's safe to say my target audience is musicians and artists. As you can tell, all of my posts look about the same because I branded my page and the entire page fits everything looks the same and it just flows very well so i've been working on this for only maybe six months now and this is progress that you are able to see this is not far-fetched this is six months of work with basic knowledge Uh, Seventy-three thousand followers Let's look at some of my views, see how much I'm reaching. So this video, 36,000 views. Um, This one right here is 44,000 views. And to be honest, all of my videos have over 30,000 views on them. And it's because of the marketing tactics and it's because I saw the opportunity in social media and I took it to grow my business and you can replicate this this could be your clothing brand